possible with the recent disorder. And thank you for your written report to us, which covers the absolutely disgraceful disorder which took place on our streets in August. Those who engaged in this violence and disorder were intent on creating a climate of fear and to make people feeling unsafe and unwanted. Thankfully, due to, to the response from your officers, civic and political leadership, and the people of Northern Ireland, the violent street protests have now ceased. We look forward to discussing with you the police response to the targeted attacks that sadly continue. I was delighted to see the incredible turnout at the Belfast Mela this week and to get the opportunity to connect with people from so many global communities who have settled in Northern Ireland. And this is the Northern Ireland we all aspire to. The board offers our thanks to those officers and staff who worked around the clock during the disorder and wish all of those officers who were injured a well and full recovery. And we do hope to see them back in service very soon. We also record our sincere thanks to Police Scotland for providing PSNI with mutual aid and to those officers who travelled here to assist. Can I also take the opportunity this morning to encourage anyone who has any knowledge of criminal activity relating to this disorder to report what they know to the PSNI through the various channels open to you. If you feel unable to report to the PSNI, please remember you can report anonymously to Crime Stoppers. I'm moving on now, Chief, to resourcing. The serious concerns previously expressed by the board around resourcing levels for policing and the detrimental impact this has had on the capability and the capacity of the service were also brought into even sharper focus by the disorder I've just spoken of. At our last meeting, and indeed for much time now, the board has discussed and sought to highlight through these public meetings the serious financial situation the PSNI faces. Suffice to say, over the course of the last few weeks, the message on resourcing that seems to have flown under the radar has indeed come back to the fore. I note discussions in the media this morning of the programme for government made no mention of policing. This serves to underline how important it is that we continue to support you in the lobby for adequate funding, and we will absolutely continue to do so. As a board, we have supported the PSNI in the lobby for adequate funding, and we, as I have said, will, will continue to do so. Moving to the, the very um, disgraceful subject of violence against women and girls, Chief Constable, we have many times discussed the level of violence against women and girls across Northern Ireland. At our August session, we discussed the issues surrounding the tragic murder of Katie Simpson. Horrifically, in the course of just one week last month, two women were brutally murdered in the safety of their own homes. They join an ever-growing list of women and girls who have lost their lives, and we see growing levels of violence against women in this country. We've written to you, Chief Constable, and the Justice Minister on this issue, and we will be considering this matter further over coming meetings. We want to do all we can within our gift to ensure that the PSNI response to such tragic events and sadly increasing numbers of cases is not found wanting. And we want to ensure that the public have confidence in that response, so we will discuss this further with you over the coming weeks and the coming months. Can I welcome the work being done within the service to address concerns and to the, the review the violence against women and girls strategy? I attended a stakeholder event just yesterday on this subject, and it is clear that the service sees this as a big priority and is determined to get it right. And moving on, looking to the future, um, over the coming months, we will also be taking forward oversight of the implementation of the recommendations following the data breach last year. On the October board meeting, at the October board meeting, we look forward to an update on the McCulloch review. And in November, we will be reviewing with you Operation Canova and the governance arrangements around that. Um, can I finish, Chief Constable, on a positive note, commending good service and place on record my admiration and appreciation for the good work done by very many officers across Northern Ireland. I have noted some already in my comments earlier, 
but I have also met with a number of, of areas and district commanders, and I've had the pleasure of attending a number of commendation events within the service. There's much good work going on across the service at all levels, and on behalf of the board, I do want to thank you and your staff for that. So Chief Constable, could I now ask you for your opening comments? Thank you.